The following program has been classified M. It is recommended for mature audiences. It contains adult themes, occasional coarse language and sexual references. Um, this is the behind the scenes tour of the sets of Swift and Shift Couriers. I'm Paul Fennick, as you know from the show. Um, this, we're going to start like right here. This is the, like what they call the dispatch area. The ra like where the, uh, you know, the, what are the stooges on the radios, like the radios are gone now because we took them like away because there was an insurance issue. Well, more of an insurance job, but they're gone. So this is where the midget used to sit. That's where the big fat guy used to sit. Over there is where the skinny guy used to sit. And the guy with the afro sat here. I, I can't even remember their names. I mean, look, yeah, I'm the director and the producer, but I mean, I'm that famous. I don't care about these other actors. Hey guys, I'm downloading cheerleader porn. I heard there's a nasty Trojan virus in the net at the moment, bro. Nah, our system has firewalls. Don't worry about it, bro. Now, he's probably noticed this. This was my personal joke. <laughs> you get it? Huh? Huh? There was many a porno on the set. And these were all brought in by David the Dwarf. He brought, this was his whole collection. As you can see, this, this, uh, the blow up doll over there. All the dwarf's private stash, he put them on the set, mate. And I mean, look, I shouldn't, I shouldn't really show you this. It's his own sex doll. Just wait here, one minute. Here it is. I mean, I don't mean to embarrass him, but this was his own sex doll he brought, and we put it just as a prop, and it's a bit small. Can you see the scale? I mean, if I put it next to me, I hope you've get the wide shot there, and you've. You've got the scale. Um, some of the things that happened in here, like uh, there was, for instance, a scene where the big fat guy, Jim, actually fell on the dwarf. Now, it was a big issue because, like, you know, the OH&S, the safety people had to come in, and the tonnage of the fat guy that fell on the dwarf, I mean, the dwarf actually broke his leg. Ah! Ah! I get it, fat fuck off of ah! Come over here. We've just gone out of the phone room and see, we use all the space. This is where Keith's bedroom was from those episodes and um, we've taken, like, that's the mattress. It's down here. And, like, that's, that's how clever we are as film makers. We can trick this hokey section here and make it look like a bedroom with the camera tricks and the lighting and that. Hello? Who? Amanda? Oh, how the fuck did that happen? Um, this is Keith, like this is his office. This is where we did all the filming of that. And like, um, we kind of tricked it because like if you spin around here, you can see that look, it's not really an office. Like there's no wall, you go into another section. And this is even faked. Like this is a fake thing, like come in here. Like see, you don't notice this like on television and that. Keith! One of those fucking Maoris has smashed my car with a fucking forklift! Um, can you start tomorrow? One of the things I love on Keith's desk, and it was a personal like art direction of mine, was this pen holder. It's the, the boss stick the pen in the ass pen holder. Why did I hire you? You are such an idiot! That's what I say a lot of the times to like the people that I work with because I'm like, you know, they got this reputation, I'm this like really tough director, but it's just because they're slack. And I have to say stuff like this to them. You're lame as usual. I'm sick of your excuses, Keith. We can be sued if there is sexual material in people's workspaces. Why did I hire you? You are such an idiot. That was a present. Probably the most interesting thing that did happen in this room was not in the series. Now, if you point up to here, to the roof with the hole in it, because what's happened, before the series, I put like spy cameras in all of the rooms of the sets, and up there we caught Keith with one of the other actors. Now, I'll just show you a snippet of this video. <laughs> now, as you come to this blog and that, this will be discussed. There's going to be a special section on who the actor was. Now, I'm not going to make any judgments on who I think it was. I know who it was, but, you know, I don't want to say it because, like, I'm the producer and I'll just get into heaps of shit 
if I accuse them, like, say it out loud. So it's better if I get someone else to say it, then they're in the shit, not me. So that's what we're going to do. But that's on another blog. But I'll just show you again. Oh. oh. That wasn't in your resume. Maybe that's the casting couch. I don't know. Um, on to the next room. Uh, this room here, this is the phone, like, room where the chicks normally sit. Um, the big one, like that massive chick sits like here in the show. You have a thick accent. Um, the old lady, Jan, sits here. Don't worry about him, love. The company just got taken over and he's got a new boss. When I show you this picture here, like from the show, where the dwarf grabs her on the bum. Hey, shawty, I love the way you move David, you little bastard. You have to say, that's a good ass, really, considering, like, you know, her age and that. I mean, for me, you know, because I'm a big celebrity, you know, like I'm not going to be going for older than my age. I usually go younger. But, you know, there's probably some of you out there who probably can't even get as good as Jan from the show. So what even more of a bonus it is that we have this midget ass pinch in this blog. I'll put it on again. Hey, shawty, I love the way you move David, you little bastard. <laughs> that was just for you desperados who don't get no chicks. Anyway, uh, let's see. Um... Leanne uh, sits here. She's the chick who was on that show, Sea Patrol. I never watched it myself. I mean, you know. No, sorry, our system is down. We can't take any jobs. Clarissa, the real bogan Westie chick, sits here. Fucking BYO toilet paper. And the detail again in the art directing. Look at that, mate. She's got the Aussie pad for the mouse. That's there. Um, I don't know why these fish are here. Oh, look at this. We seen in the other room, like the man version, and this is the chick version. And how good's this, mate? I mean, this is the good comedy we bring to television. Yeah, yeah. It's the chick pussy pen holder, which got Murray fired in the first episode. I'll just do a clip of that. Yeah, yeah. Do that again. Excuse me. What is that? Oh, it's my pen holder. this inappropriate in my workplace. Now you get out, you are fired. What? <laughs> I think it was a bit slack because I find this quite tasteful and funny. Look. Uh, it says stuff too. Oh, so good. Do that again. Um, this is where Elle, the one with the hand hey, no, Swift and Shift Couriers voice, like she sits here. Hello, Swift and Shift Couriers. Oh, I missed uh, the funny bunny bloke, you know. The guy, um, the, you know, the gay one, I forget his name, uh, Darren I think it is, uh, he sits here. How large is it? He's got a picture of, you know, of, I don't know, it's, I mean, you know, these were his own, he brought them in himself and like, you know, I mean, it's the teddy bears and, I mean, I, I, don't, I, I don't know what this is, mate, I mean, that's a dance I've never seen and I don't care to see it, actually. The pigeon! <laughs> And, and one thing I forgot to tell you about from this room, a big incident was when George, the big, like, you know, stupid bloke, he was, like, doing that thing with the pigeon again in the first episode. <laughs> the bird actually flew into Amanda Keller's eye and she lost her eye, the actor, Amanda Keller, and now she's got one of those wonky glass eyes. It's a pretty good one, so you might not notice it, like, when you see her, like, on other television shows and that, because she does, like, some of them other channels. But look closely and you'll notice that one eye just goes a bit, a little bit like that. Come on back, up. Come back, pigeon. Come oh, back for fuck's sake, can we have some help in here to catch that bloody pigeon? Now, if he's ever wondered, like, you know, what was through the door from, like, you know, the, the phone chick room, like, they always walk through as if he just came up the stairs. Oh, well, send me an email and I'll look into it, OK? Hello, Swift and Shift Couriers. Like, actually in here, it's just a room. You know, like, I know it's a bit like that Doctor Who show with the, that box and the rooms were all freaky because it looked small, but that's just the tricks we do in television and that. This was the makeup chick's room. This is where we keep the clothes. Not very interesting, but, you know, I mean, there's a few things here, like the wardrobes for the actors, and, mate, you can see... Like, some of them, mate, look at us, 
how that shirt, I mean, mate, that's a big shirt, mate. This is the stairs where Keith always goes up and down. And again, I'll show you what a trick, because look, out here, it's just part of some other big building, mate. I mean, it doesn't have nothing to do with like, you know, what you see in the show, how he walks through from the like loading dock straight to them steps. <laughs> Situation. What's wrong with the air conditioning? It's those wankers in dispatch. They keep turning up the temperature and it's too bloody hot. This is the stairs. And now, just stay here, cameraman. I'll show you something. It's pretty steep, mate. You know, like, see, like, yeah, steep. Not easy to do unless you fit like me. So I used to punish those fat ones in the show. And the old Keith, mate. I would do takes after take. Good morning. Hi. Oh, uh... Oops. Hello. Is he alright? I swear I loved it. I was punishing them. It was like a fitness camp for the fat ones. Jeez, they had to do some takes. Um, this is where we filmed all the toilet scenes. You definitely want to see in here. See, in the show, it looks like you just walk in the door. But there's all this other, like, stuff here. They say life's not worth living in Burn city work 40 hours a week Until you turn 60, earn 50 grand a year Debt for eternity No sleep, no rest is a certainty Um, you probably noticed like See this out of order like you thought on the show Maybe it was like, you know, like just for the show But these toilets are actually broken See over here too Toilets all broken mate <laughs> Um, the light's off I don't even know if there's anyone in here. We might even scare a chick. Who knows who's going to be in here? Um, no, this is, well, this is it. This is the chick's toilets. Where we filmed all the scenes with the chicks. And she also went out with Murray from Dispatch. Oh, what? That old guy? Mm-hmm. Nah, that's just wrong. As you can see, because of the body odour of lots of the cast members, some of the chicks, which I won't name. Keith, we're out of toilet paper again. We have to have the special air care citrus. Tingle, because they stank bad, mate. I don't know what it is with those chicks. I think they, I think they ate a lot of onion sandwiches on the catering and no good. Now in the filming of the show, you think it's just like one building, the way we film it, but like that's the entrance to the sections we just saw. But look how far away the loading dock is, mate. It's like the loading dock section is actually all the way over here across this massive car park. Over here is the loading dock. And you can see, mate, it's a massive distance. Like, you think it's just the one thing. Like, like if you look, look how far we went, mate. We came all that way. Um, now, we're out the front of the loading dock. And this is where Keith over here used to park his car. Like, see, just over there. Like, and he would park it there. And then he would walk like, you know, over this way, you know, and that would be open. And then like the episodes would start and that. Fucking wankers. Morning, boys. How's it going, boss? But man, some big insurance things happened out here. You want to park in the access, do you? This is what you get, mate. <laughs> big legal issues, injuries galore. Oh, man. Oh, the episode where the guy did like the jump on the mini bike, and I'll just show you that clip now. Let's just like do it. Now in the show, he gets up and goes, hey, like he's all right. But see, the actors who do that, like the twins, there's actually four of them, they're quads. And the first one who's done the smash, he was like number three of the quads. And they all look very similar. He actually busted his neck and he's in a wheelchair and it's real sad and that. 
But look, you know, we got the shot, so, you know, I mean, lucky for us, unlucky for him. So we come in now to, like, the, the actual loading dock section. So this is where the Maoris always used to hang out. And, mate, you know, it was a pain in the ass filming with them. Always drunken, always disappearing. We had to put those scenes that were in the pub like this. Cheerio. Oh, man, that's choice. We had to put them in the show because they actually did go to the pub. And we wasted that much time chasing them. We said, stuff it, we just better do some, like, filming in the pub. In the show, another one of those tricks of, like, television, Keith always walks in here and then there's the stairs, but, mate, it's just a dark room. There's nothing in here, although there's a couple of things stashed in here. We got the scooter from one of those episodes, and I sometimes drive around on that. And look, hey... We were talking about, you know, the quads, you know, who got like smashed and that, and I kept the original bike still in good shape. There's my van, and it's for sale if you want to buy it. Uh, I'll do you a good deal. So you just give us a ring and no problem, we'll, you know, we'll talk. Um, but I'm actually going to show you a tour of that on another blog. There, oh, look at this. Here's the smashed van. I don't know if you've seen the episode yet, if it's been on when this thing comes on, but... Uh, you know, like that's when, as I was saying, them quads flipped it, and one of them actually lost three fingers in that stunt. Yeah, Keith, no offense, but fuck the apology. She got up on my ass first, and I was just. Oh, 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 it, it covered me, so I didn't have to pay nothing. So he got his fingers off and sucked into him, and thanks to John Howard, he's gone now, but them like old IR laws saved me big time. Thank you, John Howard. I mean, that's the only thing we'll thank you for, but that was good for me. Um, this is just the boxes. Keith used to have the sneaky drinking section over there. Oh, I don't want to work. Don't want to work for a jerk. Shirt suit time. I don't want to work. Hey, Keith, bro. The woman from head office has just shown up, cuzzy. This is where we hide all of the props and the things. Like, we've got everything in here, mate. There's stop signs. There's, I don't know, there's just all sorts of shit in here, man. There's, like, the old-style smacking of the cop truncheon thing. There's, there's, like, radios. There's about a million Swift and Shift caps. For those of you who was pizza fans, one of Habib's old jackets there. The old psycho, uh, so we, we kept all that in Rockies too. We got these stupid hats for the people who didn't like fat pizza, because most of the people who didn't like fat pizza normally wear them hats. I don't know why we got a tent in here. There's a tent, and it's just like, I can't keep coming through, man. Hey, watch your step, mate. I told you to watch your step. The camera, oh, you, f you fucked it all up, mate. Fucking cameraman tripped over that box. It was all stacked perfect till he came in. And there's like signs. There's a porno with fat pizza in it. A fat pizza porno. And because, you know, there's the chicks with the pizza. There's Bobo the chef. Um, and like as you can see, that's where the sign Swift and Shift was. But it just fell off, mate. I, I don't know what happened. I think the Maori guys were like doing some rugby practice and throwing the ball up there. Just, you know, stupid shenanigans that they've done. I haven't been here for a few weeks because we've been, you know, like hanging out with chicks, like partying and that. And I come back and it's all stuffed up, mate. So, you know, that's, that's pretty much the end of the tour now. Um, so, I don't know. I think probably now you might want to go to one of your porno websites or if you're a chick, horses or, I don't know, shopping. Thank you.